dear friends, Yogi Vrindri Yogi, with a wonderful message for the welfare of the mankind. We say that all have to be happy. All have to be free from all worries, anxieties and fret. And there has to be a harmonious relations among birds, beasts, animals and plants and human beings. There is a demand of the nature. The nature has created all these species and it has created in a wonderful way using its infinite intelligence to see that united we can survive and united we can really do wonders, beloved friends. But what happens? The most intelligent species being the mankind, the human being. But unfortunately, the DNA of human being is polluted. Greed, anger, hatred, jealousy, cynicism, all these are deep-rooted, just like cattle <coughs> or animals. And once anybody is under the influence of greed, anger, hatred, jealousy and cynical thoughts, that will become a demon. All the conquerors, all the invaders, all these kind of selfish human beings, they start establishing jungle raws on this planet Earth and they invaded the weaker countries, weaker people, weaker tribes and they ruined us, mast and shattered and make a bloody bath. Killed everyone, massacred everyone, looted their possessions and everything else. Beloved friends, today we are fortunate that this world is much more civilized. Lot of human rights, lot of human activities. Also I wish there should be animal rights, plant rights and environmental rights. They can really save our beautiful planet and let everyone live in peace and harmony and joy. That's why in Vedanta it is said, Sarve bhavantu sukhina, Sarve shantu niramya, Sarvadrani pashyantu, that is the dreams of the sages and saints and the wisest people. Everyone has to be happy. Everyone has to be prosperous. Everyone has to enjoy a life free from all evils, all evil thoughts, all sorrow, suffering, grief and pain. Everybody should be well fed. Nobody should be starving, food, shelter and clothes for everyone, not only for a human being but also for mankind. Now let's suddenly come to the bottom line what I want to convey you. Today's world is so much polluted. Today's world is so much polluted that everywhere the greed has deep-rooted, established its kingdom in the heart, mind and soul of the people. There are a lot of offices, government offices, private offices, everywhere. You need their help and cooperation, but if you go there you will find nobody will do your work. Corruption, corruption, corruption. Without bribe, nothing moves. You go to electric, electric office, electrical office. Government rules are stringent, but they will really harass you and punish you. Unless you bribe them, they cannot do your work. You go to any other government offices, like, you know, the telephone office. Unless you bribe them, they cannot give you connection. That way you go to any office. The government secretariat, the government offices, anywhere else. Not only that, the extreme cases, if you have retired from the government job and if you want to get your work done, that is pension or some kind of areas, you have to bribe them. If you are students and you are awarded some scholarship and all, and you go there, you will have to pay bribe out of your own scholarship, then they will only release your scholarships. I have been a victim of this right from my school days as a student. I was awarded National Merit Scholarship. And unless I bribe these people, never release my scholarship. I have gone to electrical offices. Unless I bribe them, they are not giving me electrical connection. If I go to some government offices for my pension, unless I bribe them, they will not give my pension. Everywhere, everywhere. Ubiquitous universal law is corruption and helpless people, even I become helpless, I cannot fight the mass, the majority, because I need, I need electricity, I need my telephones, I need my pension to be paid regularly, monthly, because I'm a retired person. Unless I give them money, they will not release it. And who will fight for me? The politicians, shame, shame, shame on these evils and devil souls. They are themselves so much corrupt. 
You see the scams after scams in India? I don't know about the foreign land, but I know about India. Multiple scams, I don't like to defame or tell the stories of such corrupt people, but you can try to understand in India that is corruption is deep rooted. People are divided on the basis of caste, creed, race, religion, region, and they are depriving themselves of truth, justice, peace, love, and non violence. They are corrupt people, corrupt people. And that corruption is so dangerous. The corruption is like a cancer and AIDS. It is killing the peace and joy and happiness of the common masses. But these common masses are themselves corrupt. Buddha taught all the noble thoughts. I have been preaching always truth, justice, peace, love and non-violence. But nobody listened to me because people are so much addicted to the evil way and easy money coming they are exploiting their positions, big positions and posts, all are corrupt. Corruption, corruption, corruption. It needs mass movements and shame to the democracy. Democracy, these corrupt people have the right to franchise their votes. So some great people who want to eliminate corruption from A to Z, they will be losing the election because the corrupt people are only the voters. The dishonest, the liars, the shameful people are only the voters. What to do? Let's find out the way. The wise people of the country, the wise people of the world unite and really transmute the wonderful thoughts of truth, justice, peace, love and non-violence, cooperation, help, sincerely trying to be standing by the people who are victims of such circumstances. I thank you very much for watching this video. This Vendri Yogi can do everything but I am a very saintly man like Buddha and Vivekananda and Jesus and Abraham Lincoln. I have created a lot of enemies because I tell the truth, I never fear. Fear itself a great fear, I never fear. I am friends of the greatest of the great on earth. Thank you very much for watching the video. But raise your voice, don't yield just to get your work done. If we unite together, all we understand that this corruption the bribes, they are the evils and devils. We can create a better world, a nice world, a beautiful place for everyone else. But for this we have to work very hard. We have to educate people that honesty is the best policy. Honesty, integrity and humility. And courage, courage and bold and belief and faith in the humanity, in the compass net, attitude towards all creatures, including human beings. Thank you. Thank you very much for watching this video. Corruption, corruption, don't be corrupt. Don't be corrupt. I don't mind becoming Hitler and starting concentration camp to push all these kind of people in that concentration camp. Nothing wrong about it. They deserve all such of punishments worse than the concentration camp. Truth is this.